Hello everyone, my name is Cheyenne and as you know Valentine's is approaching us tomorrow. So I wanted to do a Valentine's makeup look today. I want to do something fun, cute, something I can still go out in public wearing. And that's it. So let's get started. Today I will be using the Jawbreaker palette. I got this as an early Valentine's gift from my husband. Super thankful for that. Um, other than that, I hope everyone is doing well and good things are happening to you all. Um, it's snowing right now as we speak, so it's a nice view outside my window of the snow. So, a lot of people are tired of it or whatever, but it's kind of dangerous to drive through, so I understand. Um, I'm going to start up top for a dark shade. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to lay down, um, virgin. So here I go. I've been watching lots of YouTube videos lately. Um, a lot of Kian and JC, cause they do a lot of fun, interesting things that, you know, us girls would not do. So it's really fun to watch. Today I watched one where they bought every kind of cereal when they went to the grocery store and they tried them, well, just about all of them. It was ridiculous. That would have made me sick. Okay, so now that that's set, I am going into raspberry because it looks pretty. It's like this dark maroon looking color. Here we go. I haven't tried this one. I did a blue eyeshadow look the other day when I went roller roller skating with my family. It was for Jonah's birthday. So it's laying out pretty nicely. I like it. It's a really pretty color. And this is going to take a minute because I'm just going to blend it out and I'm going to go on the other side and do it as well. Lots of blending until your fingers fall off, you know you're doing it right. <laughs> Well, this is a start. This side is looking a little blunt just because I did it heavily on that side. So I've just been blending that out until it looks like the other side. <laughs> it's really difficult. I tried, but that's the start of it. So I'm just going to keep blending it upwards so it covers like almost all my eyelid. Just keep blending all the way up. Okay. Looking at this palette, I don't know what to use next. I think I want to go in with a smaller brush 
can use this and what it's like this pretty shimmery pink reddish looking we'll find out <laughs> Muta my cat is meowing for me so that's what that sound is I'm gonna use this mirror it's actually really pretty super pretty and I'm gonna connect this with the top part that I just did And kind of like make a cat eye with it. Super pretty already. And connect it. So make a really pretty cat eye. Pink cat eye. It's going really well so far. This is so much fun. So much fun. Okay, now that that is done, I'm gonna dip into some brighter shades. I wanna blend out my top just to like brighten it up. I wanna use Snack. This is really pretty shimmery pink. I'm gonna show you. Snack right here. Really pretty shimmer. I just want to like go in and brighten it up. It's blending out really well. And I feel like we need like a close up of my makeup now that I'm closer so you can see what I'm working with here. I am going into some concealer and I'm going to work in my inner area that I didn't complete. So I'm going to use this little dainty baby brush and put some concealer on it. Um, where's my concealer? I have to dig it out. I'm going to be using this matte concealer. It's really bright. Okay. Dip in there a little bit. And I'm going to go right in here. Just like so. And I'm going to do this to the other side. It takes a lot of work. Lots of blending. Oh man, and I looked up. Okay, now that concealer is set. It's wobbly. <sighs> kind of did a bad side on my left, so I'm going to have to fix what I messed up. Okay, and with that, now that that is set, I'm going to go back into And What? This pretty shimmery pink right here. And I'm going to put that as my cat eye for the day. And I'm just going halfway on my eyelid. Perfect. Now that I have my cat eyes with and what, I want to use a very light color for where I put my concealer. So as I do that, I need to pick what color I want. I don't know. I'm thinking good morning because it's like a very light pink color. I might just do that. We shall see. I think I need a littler brush. So, and what is really pretty, but good morning. This light pink, it's right next to Virgin. We'll try it out. Let's see how this works. Here goes nothing. 
super pretty. I love it. It just takes a lot of blending because I opened my eye earlier and it messed up the light color I was using, but it's an easy fix. I'm staying calm. Okay, so this is how it's looking so far. I think I need to brighten up my inner corner of my eye. So that being said, I think I will be dipping into Jawbreaker. And Jawbreaker is this shade right here. It's shimmery. And it doesn't come on your skin as you would think. It's not like a very white color. So I'm going to use Virgin before I use Jawbreaker. That being said, I'm going to go into Virgin and brighten up my inner corner with that. Just like so. And I can see some imperfections. I know I'm driving you nuts by still fixing my eye look. Um, yeah, so now I'm going to dip into Jawbreaker. Jawbreaker! It's looking super fresh. And I love me some glitter, so... I kind of go heavily on that. Just like that. And that is my eye look. I'm going to add some more glitter to the middle in here. So I got this cute little glitter palette. So I'm going to just lay that on there. I'm not sure what color I will use. Hmm. There are some pretty pinks, but... Hmm. And what's good about this is it comes with a little brush, so... Looking at my eye, maybe I should go with the silver and see how that turns out. It's like, almost like jelly. So. This jelly stuff is not easy to work with, so bear with me. I guess that's the trick. You have to like kind of like dab it on there so it'll stick. That's the trick. Now that that's laid on my eyes, I am going to dip into another jelly glitter and I'm going to use this like really white one right here for my inner just to lay on top of Jawbreaker. Hmm. Not what I was expecting it to be. It's not sticking like I would like it to so I'm going to brighten that up again with Jawbreaker. It'll just give it something to stick to I suppose. that and I did not set my eyebrows so I'm gonna do my eyebrows as well whenever I'm done touching up this makeup look super fresh sorry I take so long guys I'm just a perfectionist so I like it to look decent so far I've used one two three four five six shades Six shades of this palette, and they're all very beautiful. So I use Virgin, Good Morning, Snack, Raspberry, and Jawbreaker right there. Um, I don't know if you can see very well when I was pointing out the first one and what was probably my favorite. So now I kind of want to do something cute. I'm just going to do my eyebrows before I do little hearts and stuff like that. Eyebrow time. I'm working backwards today. I feel bad for all the snowplowers out there. They have to be out there 
plowing the parking lots and the road. So if that's what you hear in the background, that's what it is, the plows. Whoa, oops. Eyebrows are done. So I'm gonna brush those bad boys out. just like so and I'm going to do my mascara and I am obsessed with this Maybelline Total Tem Temptation waterproof it's a really good drugstore item I picked up not too long ago and with this mascara you like you don't even need falsies because it curls your lashes up so good I like to go with a few layers though just to add some drama. Now I need to fix where the mascara hit my skin. Yay! Foundation will help. Just a little bit. Just a little smidge on my sponge. Okay, now that that is fixed, this is the finished look. As you can see, I did like a cat eye with the like, shimmer, it really made it pop. Super cute. You can wear this out in public. I mean, very pink like I like it okay so I need to add a heart for this Valentine's Day look so I'm just gonna do that on my cheek maybe on this side and I'm using my KKW pink 3 as per usual I'm gonna touch it up a little bit <laughs> cute little heart for Valentine's Day I'm going to line my lips with this. Now that those are aligned, I am going for a more dramatic look today. So I'm going to be using a MAC in the shade Satin. And it's like this really deep purple, as you can see. I'm gonna try this out, so I'm gonna do a dramatic look today. And then also, like to brighten it up, I will be using like a matte lip cream to brighten it up. It's like a very baby pink color. Someone else is snow plowing out there. There's the purple, and then I'm going to use this lip cream for the middle part of my lips. Very dramatic. I might just add a little bit more of this lip cream just to give it that pretty lavender looking color. It's a really pretty lavender. Just like so. Oh, it's looking really pretty. I know I just covered up the purple. My camera's not doing it any justice, but the purple is definitely there. And on top of that, I need some gloss. I'm going to use Anastasia in Moon Jelly. There you have it. That's my finished Valentine's makeup look. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I'm gonna zoom out. Okay, now I have my sweater on for the day. If you made it this far in my video, I appreciate you so much. I really, really appreciate the support. And for those of you who like watching my get readies with me, um, so I took down my hair. I still need to add some blush. I'm sorry this took forever, 
I'll try my best to work faster, but when you're working with someone that's a perfectionist, it's, it can be a bit difficult trying to work fast. I go really slow when I'm doing my makeup, especially on my off day. So from the mini controversy palette, I'm going in to expose for my blush. And after this, I'm going to run a few errands. I've been wanting to go get a manicure. I might go do that just because it's my off day and I want to enjoy every minute of it. But I have that. I need a highlight, so I'm going in with my Skin Frost Sarcophagus. And I'm just going to dot that on the tip of my nose and my cheeks. And the other side. Super cute. I'm obsessed with this look. I'm glad I decided to do something fun today. I'm just gonna go over. Just like so. It's super cute. I like being dramatic. I need to set my face with Morphe, of course. But yeah, I'll probably try to meet up with a friend today, maybe do lunch. Hopefully someone comes through with that and get a manicure because these need done. I'm thinking like a pretty light lilac purple. I've been loving that color lately so definitely going for that. I'm deciding what clips to use. Should I go for the big or small? I don't know. Since I'm going dramatic with my makeup look today, I'll probably just do the little ones. Just clip them in. They're super cute. They're easy to put on. They're like little clips. Just like so. And for my hair today, I had braided it and now it's all curly today. I'm thinking I will use some cute clips I got from Burlington. They're super cute. They have little stars on them. Oops, I just dropped in my little bucket. Little stars. And my friend Nikki got me this cute clip that says Queen on it. I've been wearing this lately. Super cute. There's Queen. And then on this side, I'm going to add my stars. It's kind of hard with all the curls in there, but Ugh, so difficult putting these on. Especially with all my thick hair, it's like, come on, I know you can do it. There's one of the stars, and then I need to add in the other one. Okay, so I put my clips in. I had to fix it. I didn't like the queen being right here, and it just just like it all even. So I put my cute little barrettes beside my ear, and that's what my hair look is today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me get ready today. Please like and subscribe if you would like. I would greatly appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Bye!